Hey guys, today I will be showing you how to make your own uh, watermark to use for your videos or your avatar. And for before we open up Photoshop, I'll need you to download a texture file and the link in the description below. And you want to export it to your desktop or wherever it is easy to access. So once you download that, you want to go to Photoshop and we will be going to file new and you want the size at 500 by 500 pixels and just click OK and we want to make an ellipse which is just a circle so we want to go to shapes and we want to click on ellipse tool and once you click you want to hold down shift so it makes a perfect circle and you want it a little big and then let go and you won't need to worry about the background color because we, at the end we are not going to be using that. So I'm just going to make it a little darker. And you guys can use any colors you want. You don't have to, if you don't like what colors I'm using, let's go ahead and use anything else. So once you make the first sphere, we are going to be making another one inside of it. And we want it a little smaller. So again, hold shift and just a little smaller. And we want to drag this to the middle. And I'm going to make the color a little lighter. Maybe one. Alright. So once, once we're done with making the spheres, you want to go to the bigger ellipse on the layers. You want to right click and go to blending options. And for here, we are going to click on stroke. And you want to change the size to 2 pixels and then we want to go to inner glow and we want it the color uh, whichever color you want I'm going to be using the gray again okay I'm going to put the size a little bigger I'm going to put it at around 50 alright so that's good and then we're going to be clicking on texture so once we get on texture you want to click on the arrow down and you want to go to the like the settings tool you want to go to load patterns and the file that we downloaded you want to go to that and you want to just click on it and once you see you'll see all these different kinds of uh, patterns and you want to click on the thinnest one that is like vertical and you'll get these lines and you there's also many different uh, other like textures you can use there are more lines even more lines and then they have I don't know what these these don't really show they have this that's also really nice but I'm gonna be using this one for the tutorial but then again you can also use anything else you want and we'll just click OK and now we're gonna head on to the smaller ellipse and you wanna right click on that and go to blending options and for here we're gonna click on stroke again and you want the size at 2 pixels and we will be going to gradient overlay on gradient overlay you want to change the colors you want the first color at like a, a little darker than white click OK and you want the second color at I'm gonna put out of the gray click or okay and you want the style oops you want the style at reflected alright so that is done and we'll just click OK now we'll be making our text so let's go to the text layer to the text button and we are I'm gonna just put F for RFC for fully free films and I'm gonna put one at the moment and the font I'm using is Comic Sans. I'll just place it right here. And you want to right click on the text and go to Blending Options. And we will start by clicking on Contour. We won't need to change that. You want to click on Stroke. Stroke, I don't know, it makes the text a lot like nicer. We'll be using two, that's fine. Then we need Outer Glow that's fine we'll put the size at um, around 15 15 is good and for drop shadow you want the size at 
25 and we'll also be using inner glow and the color that I'll be using the color that you want is just white and for outer glow the color that we want is also I'm gonna use a gray color and we're just gonna click OK and click OK here so we finished that um, text what you can do now is you can right click on the text layer and go to duplicate layer and click OK or press enter and then you can move this around so you can move it like right here and then you can right click and go to duplicate layer again press OK and then move that right here so you can do that or what I did in my my newest watermark I had the first one in the middle I had the second text um, uh, the second F if you press control T you're able to rotate it so I rotated it a little and I put the opacity at around 75 and for the, th the last one again I dragged it up a little I want to press control T to rotate okay and I put the opacity at around 50 so we'll do that so that's what I did and then we move them a little together so there are many different ways to approach the text part so you can just be creative and place them wherever you want and also if you don't like the bland color what you want to do is go to the big ellipse again you want to right click and go to blending options and you can go to color overlay and there you go you change the color on the top so and then you can just change to any other color that you need you can click OK and you are done creating the watermark so now after finishing the watermark the last thing you want to do is save it without the background so all we're gonna do is click on the eye on the background layer and that means that it's gone and you want to go to file save and you will save it as watermark and for the format you want it as a PNG file if you put it as a JPEG it will save with a white background so you, again you want to put it as PNG file so that you'll get it without the background so now you can see here that there is no background and then when you click on it that is the final product again there's many different things you can do with this watermark like changing the colors and uh, the text arrangement so that is all thank you for watching